This is Jeffrey Drazen for the New England Journal of Medicine. Most smokers start in their teens, often with a vision in their head of the kind of smoker they want to be. Within a decade or so of starting, however, many smokers are already thinking of quitting. But most people don't manage to quit until they're in their 40s. Cigarettes are highly addictive, so the process of quitting involves a lot of highs and lows. In fact, just the thought of quitting fills many people with dread. Health professionals offer many interventions, including nicotine replacement therapy and prescription medications to help people quit smoking. But these interventions are often expensive and just as often are not very effective. A study published in the journal explores the efficacy of a not-so-new but largely unknown over-the-counter medication for smoking cessation. The medication studied, cytosine, has been available without a prescription since the 1960s, mainly in Eastern Europe, where it costs much less than nicotine replacement therapy. Would this less expensive treatment work elsewhere in the world? Adult smokers in New Zealand who are motivated to quit smoking called a national quit line and were recruited to join the study. Participants were randomly assigned to receive cytosine for 25 days or nicotine replacement therapy for eight weeks. Participants in the cytosine group were asked to reduce their smoking over the first four days with the goal of no longer smoking at all by the fifth day. Participants in both groups received low-intensity behavioral support by telephone. Adverse events, which included nausea and vomiting and sleep disorders, were almost twice as common in the cytosine group, but participants in the cytosine group also reported fewer tobacco withdrawal symptoms, found smoking less rewarding, and were more likely to have reduced the number of cigarettes smoked per day. At one week, continuous abstinence from smoking was higher with cytosine than with nicotine replacement therapy, and cytosine continued to be more effective for continuous abstinence and nicotine replacement at one month, two months, and six months. In this study, cytosine was found to be effective for smoking cessation, suggesting that it could be used as a first-line treatment for tobacco dependence, and might perhaps help smokers quit sooner rather than later for less money.